Hey, welcome to Taking Trades. My name is Jimmy and this is our YouTube channel where we share trade ideas, talk about entries, exits, and anything surrounding day trading. So welcome. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's jump in. So today, 21st of February, 2019, I didn't take any trades today. So in place of a trade video for today, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my trade that I made yesterday on February 20th, 2019. I went ahead and took a trade on Devon Technologies, ticker symbol DVN, and I ended up taking two trades on it. It took me two trades to get the perfect entry. The first one I took, I ended up getting stopped on. I was just a little bit too early, but I waited for it to continue to set up, and then when it did, I jumped in, got my, uh, got my shares in my short position, and then I managed the trade really, really well, and I was really excited about it. So. I wanna go ahead and dive into that, break it down for you, show you the ins and outs there, and then I wanna hear how you guys did yesterday as well as today. Are you red, are you green? And then if you have any questions, let me know. So let's jump in. Hey, welcome, let's jump in. So I've got my Thinkorswim platform up, and I have Devon Technologies brought up, ticker symbol DVN. So this was the only name that I traded on February 20th, 2019, and so to start from the very beginning to break out, break this down and, and how I found this stock was I was running a, a gap scanner through Thinkorswim, just looking for stocks that are gapping up. And then I go through each of those stocks and there might be a bunch of them, but I'll go through and kind of look at them and say, you know, does this look like it has any decent price action? Is the volume okay? Just sort of thinning out the herd on my own. And I found DVN and you can see right here, stock gapped up after market, then maintained, and then in the pre-market started to push even higher. So it put this stock in play for me. So I decided I'd go ahead and, and keep it on my watch list and just see what it did. Now, it went ahead and opened up, had a strong move, and I said, okay, you know, I'm just gonna kinda keep watching this, and I had it on a, on a watch list. I wasn't following it super close, but just being aware of, of, of what it was doing uh, from time to time. And the other thing was, I was also watching the news. So what had happened was, I saw Devon Energy up 12% after results, dividend and buyback boost, just some like different news that look good. Uh, Devon Energy up over 11%. Um, things were just kind of looking good. And so when I saw that, I was thinking this was gonna be a long play. I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna take 400 shares long and then manage the trade that way. And nothing was really happening. I didn't like this pullback because I felt like we didn't get the slowing we needed. We had, um, you know, a push up, but then some of these volume bars here, specifically this one, if you look down here, that volume was higher, almost matching the, the up spike. So I didn't like that setup, so I passed on that and kept watching it through. And then you'll notice it started to get really exciting right about nine o'clock. I was, I happened to be watching this stock and I see this big bearish candle start pushing down and it was massive and it was out of the ordinary and it grabbed my attention. So I look down here and I see this telephone button, right? And I hover it and it tells me there was a conference call at 10 a.m. Central time, nine o'clock right here. So because of this candle, I thought to myself, okay, something bad just happened because Devon Energy had you know, a pretty good picture painted. It was gapping up, it was trending up in the pre-market. Things were looking pretty good. So to have this candle slam down, something on that conference call must have happened that created this. So I was checking my news button and I wasn't getting anything. I kept looking here, wasn't getting anything, wasn't getting anything, and then this popped up. This one right here. Devon Energy, quarter four earnings conference call. The CFO says, uh, sees complete exit from Canada in the Barnett Shale. So I took that as People who are investing in the stock viewed that as negative, a complete exit from Canada. So when I saw that, I said, okay, I'm gonna start watching this for a short position because intraday, 
something has changed in the fundamentals of the stock. So we're, we're obviously moving now in, in a different direction. So once that happened, I'm going to zoom in here just because I don't want to, I've got my orders on the screen. I don't want them to kind of clutter everything. But I had drawn just this little support line where this came down and kind of bounced and touched a couple times and then left then came through and broke down. When these five minute candles here, here, and here, when they started to pull back, my plan was to buy or to short the breakdown of the most recent candle. So when it pulled back, it then broke this one here, pushed down and broke the body of this candle, which is kind of where I like to get in sometimes. So I went short at the break of this body, and you can see I got short 400 shares at 31.11, and then immediately, well not immediately, but got stopped out pretty quickly at 31.29 where my position was covered. So in my head I thought, okay, I was just a little bit early, I need to give it a little more time to set up, see if it will pull back further into the nine um, exponential moving average, which is this white line. So then this next candle comes out, this next five minute candle, and pushes up even further, and then um, sets up this red candle. And what I decided to go ahead and do was instead of, let's see, yeah. So instead of playing a break of the body of the candle, I decided that I would go ahead and try to play it a little cleaner and play the break of the low of the candle. So when this five minute candle came out, it had a low right here of 31.19, right down here. So what I went ahead and did was, after this one closed and this one opened, I went ahead and was ready to put an order on to go ahead and go short at the breakdown of that. So I think I placed my order at 31.16. And when it broke 31.16, triggered my order, I was short again 400 shares at 31.16. I got this push all the way down here to 3106 and I covered half my position. So I took half off and then started letting it ride. We opened this next candle, pushed down even further, and I went ahead and took another 100 shares off at $30.86, covered up another 100 shares. Then it bounced and hindsight now says this pullback and then a subsequent push back down this would have been a spot where you could have added more shares. You could have gone short and gotten bigger in the, in the trade. Then it trickled on down, got a nice slam down, which told me that we're still moving in the bear direction. So I was still interested. Then we got a little sharp pullback up and then a push down. So I was afraid we were consolidating and I didn't necessarily want to sit around in this kind of like washer machine mixer of back and forth. So once this candle came out and then this one came out and we looked like we were starting to trend up a little bit, I went ahead and covered my final lot of 100, 100 shares at $30.85. So overall, I took that first loss. Then the second trade I took when I got the true entry, I made up all my losses and made a tiny bit to finish in the green on the day. So all in all, it ended up being a really great trade for me and I feel like it was a sound trade. It had a gap in the morning, it had news, it clearly had a change in fundamentals right here at nine o'clock, which made it very, very in play. But I was able to catch that, I was able to sort of decide maybe or, or think about why it may have happened, and then waited for my nice pullback on the five minute chart and I got it. It was early first, gave it a second, got in second time, end up working great and it trickled on down. So um, it ended up being a really, really good trade for me. It was great practice in this area. And um, ultimately, you know, I think about larger size in the future after I can replicate this type of um, trade management. This trade was totally unemotional for me. It was, it was great because I knew the minute I entered where my stop was, so I knew where I would exit. I knew that the first leg down that I'd want to take half my position so I could manage my risk. And then the second half of my position, I'm just letting the market tell me where to exit. And I felt like the market was telling me something with this big green candle 
and then this sort of starting to trend upward. This candle breaking this candle's high. So once I got to that point, this candle opened, I cut the trade and called it a day. So anyway, all in all, positive experience. Go ahead and leave me comments, questions, um, input. If you guys have any suggestions about how to make this trade better, I'd love to hear it. Um, every day I'm just trying to improve a little bit. So sorry about no trades today on the 21st. Um, it just didn't, I just sat on my hands. I didn't see anything that was working for me. And um, I did see one short opportunity on Tesla and then tried to take an order and it was hard to borrow. Didn't have shares to short. So got <laughs> got denied there. But anyway, we'll be back at it tomorrow and I hope that I will be touching base with another trade video probably tomorrow afternoon. So let me know how you did today. Appreciate you stopping by. Hit that subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.